Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Chef Carl from Cooking and Grilling with Carl. And in this video, I'm making for you a delicious, cheesy Parmesan crusted chicken and pasta recipe right after this. Alright, before we get started with this recipe, let me show you all the ingredients. Also, I use milk and Italian season, which I didn't show here, but all the, the list of ingredients will be in the description below. And I'd like to welcome back all my subscribers. And those who aren't subscribers, I hope you, you know, consider subscribing to the channel if you like the content. And also hit the notification bell to get all my notifications and definitely give a thumbs up if you like the content. Now let's get started with this uh, recipe. So right here, I'm starting to do some prep. Right there, I just got finished uh, julienne up some um, shallots. And here I am doing some julienne on some um, bell peppers, uh, three different colors. I just did that to give it a little bit of a, um, a lot of color to the, um, to the sauce, as you'll see in the, um, later in the video. And so right here, I'm just cutting up some uh, multicolored grape tomatoes that's fresh from the garden. Yeah, so right here I'm just chopping up some uh, fresh garlic. And right here I'm just plucking off some basil leaves, which are um fresh from my little garden that I got and this is also some um, Italian parsley also from fresh from the garden so I got that prep done now I'm just setting up my uh, dredging station for the chicken so here I am going with some um, black pepper And now I'm going in with some salt. And here I am going with my um, breadcrumbs. So I actually did a mixture of panko and um, regular seasoned breadcrumbs. But I just did that because I had two different uh, containers that was open I wanted to get rid of. So right here I'm just cracking my eggs. And this is going to be for the egg wash. And the flour, that was actually to dredge the chicken. The egg wash is for... Um, coating the chicken and then the breadcrumbs is also going to stick to the egg wash so that's just a basic recipe that you use when you're um when you're breading something whether it be uh you know zucchini or chicken or fish or um, whatever all right so i'm just giving that a good mix so now to make this parm crusted i'm um, going in with the parm into the breadcrumbs gonna do a generous amount and then give that a nice little mix So here, here I am starting um, the dredging process, the coating process for the chicken. So I went into the flour, the egg wash, and then coated it with the breadcrumbs. All right. So here I am doing another piece. So I'm going to do about four pieces, and then I'm going to move on to the next step. Um, but pretty much you get the gist of it. Flour, egg wash, and then coat it with your breadcrumbs, and then move it over to a, um, a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. Or you can go straight into your hot cooking oil, which you're going to see in a little bit um, further in the video. So this is how they, they're supposed to look once they're coated. I want to make sure the coating is all over the chicken. All right, so right here in some hot um, cooking oil that's probably like 350 degrees, I'm going in with uh, the chicken and I'm putting it in away from me just in case it falls and splashes. It's gonna fall, it's gonna splash away from me and not towards me. All right, so you're just looking to give it uh, get all the edges nice and um, brown and give it a nice crust. So as you can see, it's nice and golden brown. I got a nice crust on it. And do not overcrowd your pan. 
you see here, I'm using uh, my favorite pan, the cast iron pan. And there's only two types of pans that I, I use. I use cast iron and I use stainless steel. Um, and the reason why, because when you start getting into these non-stick pans and these copper pans and all that stuff, I don't care how much they cost, over time, that stuff leaches into your food, and that's why cast iron and stainless steel is the best. All right, so right here I'm going in with some oil into a hot um, stainless steel pan. I'm going in with the vegetables that you see me chopped up earlier. I'm not putting the um, herbs in yet. So right here, just giving a um, nice toss, nice saute to them. All right, going in with a little salt. Going in with a little uh, black pepper. All right, I just turned off my fire and I went in with some white wine. All right, just putting a little oil and salt into my uh, pasta water. All right, here I am going in with some tomato sauce into my um, reduced uh, reduction of white wine and my vegetables. Just giving that, giving that a nice stir. All right, everything is nice and mixed together. So here I am going with some heavy whipping cream. Now I'm going to give that a nice mix. All right, so now here I am going with some shaved Parmesan. That's going to start thickening up your sauce. And you can be very generous with the Parmesan. All right, giving that a nice mix. All right, here I am going with about four tablespoons, five tablespoons of uh, cold butter. And so I'm gonna mix that in. I turned off the heat. That's gonna add a nice richness. Um, Y'all know I like to use butter in all my sauces. That's kind of a French me method, the beurre blanc method. And um, it always takes your sauces to the next level. All right, you just wanna make sure that you lower your heat so your sauce, so your um, fat doesn't separate, it doesn't uh, break. And if it does, you can actually take a little bit of the pasta water and add into the sauce and stir it rapidly and that will bring your sauce back if it breaks. That's a little trick that we use in restaurants. All right, so here I am going with the fresh herbs. That's just gonna add a nice additional flavor to it. And the reason why I added them at the end, because if you add them too soon and cook it down with the sauce, it's just gonna turn your herbs brown. And I'm trying to keep a little bit of the color. So I just went in to, the, um, to my boiling water with my um, Papa Deli pasta. This is one of my favorite pastas to use. And like I said, the little trick that I told you about, use a little bit of your pasta water if your sauce breaks to bring it back. All right. There's starch in that water and it's very valuable if something happens to your um, to your initial sauce. All right. So here I am going in with um, the Parpadelli pasta and I'm not going to totally drain it. I don't mind if a little bit of that pasta water drains in there because it's just going to add um, depth to the uh, sauce. All right, giving it a nice mix with the pasta, making sure all the pasta is nice and coated. And if you want it thicker than this, you can add in some more cheese and then mix it up like I'm mixing now, and that would make it even more thicker, but I don't want it super thick. All right, so here I am starting to plate up. Going down with a little bit of that Parpadelli pasta. All right, here I am introducing the chicken. I'm gonna cut it in half. And then we're gonna go on top of the pasta. Just so y'all know, y'all, this is one of my own. This is one of my 
own recipes that I created. Um, you know, the pink sauce, that's a variation of like a vodka sauce, even though there's no vodka in here. But um, in the, the parm crusted chicken, that's obviously a, a classic recipe. But as far as the sauce and how I put it together, this is pretty much my creation. But at this point, the recipe is totally done. I just want to thank everybody for checking out another one of my videos. And as I said earlier, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing. Definitely if you like this video and you like this type of content. And also um, check me out on social media, Cooking and Grilling with Carl, on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Oh, and also Facebook. I have a cooking group called Cooking and Grilling with Carl. On that note, I say God bless. i catch you on the next video. Peace.